Well, hey, everybody. Uh, shipping out a couple of puppies today. Duffy's going in that kennel right there. And uh, John's boy, and that's not his name, but, you know, that's, he, he's going to John. That dog's going right there. So I thought I'd take a short video. Uh, that's a size 400 kennel. Uh, that's a size 500 kennel. Uh, it's about four inches bigger and a couple inches taller. And this over here is a size 300, just for comparison purposes. Uh, you know, you could probably put like a 10 or 11 week old puppy in there. Uh, as they get older, you know, they're going to need more space. Uh, the 500 has the advantage of being their forever home kind of thing. Uh, my Airedale will never outgrow that 500 kennel. Uh, Duke, you like you like your 500 kennel, do you? I, I'm, I'm comfy up in there, boss. Yeah. All right. So anyhow. Uh, this is the first time since a United has implemented their new rules and regulations that I've been shipping a puppy. So uh, I'm going to tell you to the best of my knowledge what, uh, what the, uh, what's required. Uh, I know they require or they allow, they don't allow much inside the kennel. Uh, no toys at all, uh, no towels, no, uh, no food, no nothing. Uh, they say they allow uh, absorbent uh, material, a pad. Uh, what I've done historically is tear up some of this uh, brown paper and stick in there. Uh, it has the advantage of being absorbent. Uh, they can move it around kind of thing, easier than a pad. And when they get bored, it gives them something to chew on. Now, whether or not uh, United is going to let them go like that, well, they always have in the past. But just in case, and I'm bringing the roll with me, so if they want me to just put one sheet of paper in there, well, then that's what I'll do. Uh, they get a pound of food. Uh, you know, I debate it whether or not it's even worth, I mean, it's not a lot of food, folks. Uh, but I guess, uh, you know, it's something. Uh, I'm not a real big fan of feeding my dogs and putting them on the road, but, uh, you know, I'm following the United Rules. Uh, the, uh, the kennels come with a little food and water bowl, and I mean it is little kind of thing. So, I ain't gonna get much food in there. But uh, I usually write on the uh, form that, uh, you know, feed them and give them a little water at transfer, kind of, at the transfer point, which uh, both of these puppies are transferring in Denver to get to their final locations. Uh, paperwork you'll get uh, should be on top of the kennel, a uh, health certificate, uh, AKC registration paperwork. On uh, this registration paperwork, uh, I probably shouldn't show you everything. Uh, all we do is uh, is mark it as a boy kind of thing, and then uh, we sign and date it on the back, transferring ownership. Uh, if you're not going to breed your dog, I wouldn't recommend you register them. There's no point in spending that $35 kind of thing. Uh, and if you are going to register your dog, uh, don't fill this thing out and mail it in. Go ahead online. Everybody here is computer literate. Uh, there's a secret PIN number under my hand that you can just kind of you know, put in and, and register your dog. So you'll get that. Uh, you'll get a copy of your dog's shot record. Uh, on this thing here, uh, weeks, I give puppy shots, six, nine, 12, and 16 weeks. Uh, at six weeks, they get a five way. At nine, 12, and 16, they get a nine way. These puppies had their uh, rabies shot when Dr. Fung gave them their health certificate. Uh, you'll get, uh, oh, and these are the, uh, this is what United now requires. Uh, two page disclaimer written by their attorneys basically saying uh, it's not our fault if we kill your dog. Uh, you got to bring them two copies of that. I guess one for the corporate office. A uh, picture of the dog. Like uh, apparently they're uh, claiming that somehow they were mixing up dogs because they didn't know what the dog looked like. So okay. Well there's a couple pictures of the dog kind of thing. So hopefully uh, they won't have any excuse for convincing or, or you know mixing up my 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 pretty Airedale Terrier with a poodle or a bulldog or something. So you get all of that. Uh, I recommend when you uh, get to the airport, you go ahead and remove the nuts and bolts that are holding the kennel in place. There are 11 of these things all the way around. Uh, and go ahead and invert it, uh, you know, as soon as you get your dog to the car kind of thing. Take, take your dog out, put it in the seat, invert. And, uh, and then put your dog right back in here. If you've been watching my videos, you know my dogs, uh, I train them so they don't crawl out over the top. So I think they'll be okay if you do that. Uh, you don't have to. If you got a big enough vehicle to fit it in there, then go ahead and fit it in there like this if you want to and wait until later. I'd still take my puppy out though, but uh, that's up to you. Uh, what else? Oh, uh, I recommend, uh, you know, I I'm hoping they're clean and dry when they get to you. 
But uh, I'd say bring some, bring some bags, bring some trash bags, just in case you have to scoop out some waste or some wet cardboard or, I mean, uh, paper or whatnot. Uh, a couple absorbent towels to wipe things down, a little bit of spray, you know, just to tidy up the kennel kind of thing. Ain't no sense uh, driving home with a stinky kennel. And then, uh, uh, what else? Um, you know, oh, and, you know, maybe uh, maybe a, a, some spray good. I mean, uh, some smell good stuff to spray kind of thing, just in case they are stinky. Uh, that's about it, I think. Uh, yeah, puppies leaving out of here today. Uh, I got to get them to the airport uh, two hours before their flight. Uh, they're flying out at 4.15, so I got to get them to the airport by 2.15. I'll probably drop them off, oh, half an hour or so early because... Airport's about two hours from here, so, you know, there's no sense in cutting it too close as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be a long day for the puppies. It really is. Uh, and they'll probably, you know, uh, don't expect them to come bounding out of here when you get them kind of thing. But uh, but they'll perk up. They're Airedales. They'll, uh, you know, they are going to be so happy to be with you. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yep, yep. Their tail will come up. Give it a day or two. Obviously, if your know, puppy's not eating or drinking, they, they should come to you hungry and thirsty. Personally, I wouldn't feed them or water them until I got them home. Some place where uh, they could potty. Show them the potty place. Feed them water. That kind of thing then. Uh, yeah. So, so anyhow, that's it. Puppy's, uh, puppy's ready to go. And uh, yeah, I'll let you go.